Hello Cowboys Nation! Here's another round of Dallas Cowboys news. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news from your team. Cowboys plan to land TV machine as possible replacement for Tony Pollard. The Dallas Cowboys could be looking for a new running back this offseason. Wisconsin star running back Brylon Allen is being touted as a possible option for the Cowboys in the 2024 NFL Draft. Current RB1 Tony Pollard is set to become a free agent at the end of the season after playing for the $10 million franchise. Tim Letiero of USA Today recently released a seven-round mock draft. The analyst pits Dallas against Allen in the third round. Take a look at the persuasive argument for Dallas to take the productive tank of a running back. In an open running back class that gets bigger every day with guys coming back to school. Brylon Allen has a good chance to be one of the best backs in this group, Letiero wrote in a December 15, 2023 article titled, Cowboys 7-Round Mock Draft, Restocking OL and RB Among Top Priorities for 2024. Although he's incredibly young, turning 20 in January, Allen has the build of a tank. He's got all of his 6'1", 245-pound body, but he has more than enough speed to boot. The obvious comparisons to Derrick Henry often come up, but he's easily the closest we've seen to Henry since, Letiero continued. Allen is an absolute load to bring down and, by default, gets at least a yard every time he goes forward. The agility and pass catching aren't there, but the pass protection is, and while Tony Pollard and Rico Dottle have done better this season, giving Dak Prescott a defense that can block like a tight end would be very beneficial for his long-term future as well. Hiring Allen or another running back doesn't necessarily mean the team dumps Pollard. That said, Pollard's production should give Dallas pause before potentially signing the star to a new long-term contract. Pollard hasn't surpassed 60 yards in four consecutive games for Dallas. Allen brings with him an impressive CV, with 35 career touchdowns in his three years in Wisconsin. The star has scored double-digit touchdowns in all three of his seasons with the Badgers. Allen posted 181 rushes for 984 yards and 12 touchdowns. The star averaged 5.4 yards per rush in 11 games. The Badgers star has impressive size in the NFL, at 1.80 meters and 238 pounds. There are questions about Allen's entry into the NFL, including how impactful the rusher can be in the passing game. Allen had 28 receptions for 132 yards in 2023. The running back also struggled with fumbles, which is not an encouraging sign to enter the league. However, Wisconsin is known for producing elite NFL running backs, including Jonathan Taylor and Melvin Gordon. In November, the Athletics' Dane Brugler projected Allen to be a third-round pick. Allen entered the season with second-round grades from several scouts, Brugler told Jesse Temple of The Athletic in a November 3 mailbag article. I love his size, vision, acceleration. Plus the fact that he's still only 19. But he's also put the ball on the ground a lot this season, I didn't see that on film last year. He needs to stay healthy and on the pitch. My guess right now is that both, Allen and Wisconsin left tackle Jack Nelson, will be drafted in the third round if they declare, but that could change in the final month of the season and during the process. They both project as NFL starters. Cowboys 7-round mock draft restocking OL and RB among top priorities for 2024. Dallas finds itself in command of its own destiny and has yet to show any signs of slowing down. This team looks primed for a deep playoff run and is primed for success in the future, but as any of the best minds in football would admit, you can never have too much talent in the pipeline. With 19 pending free agents in 2024, a list that doesn't include stars who need extensions, Dallas will once again need to knock a draft out of the park. In this seven-round simulation, here are seven names that would keep this Cowboys squad as the cream of the crop in the 2024 season. Kingsley Swamataya is one of the more polarizing prospects in this OT-heavy class, but at the end of the first round, he's an absolute steal. He started at Oregon before transferring to BYU and was a two-year starter at left and right tackle. His positional versatility is demonstrated by not allowing a single sack in more than 600 pass blocks over the past two seasons. Swamataya is 5 feet 11 inches, but he has the Tyler Smithy SC power to simply drive guys out of the clubhouse with all of his 320 plus pounds. His power is immense, but what's surprising about Swamataya is his foot speed. 
He can make up ground so quickly and in space that he combines his athletic ability with his power to destroy anyone in his path. He has a long way to go in terms of consistency, but his traits and flashes are special enough to warrant a first-round pick. The Cowboys can't drop the ball with the NFC East, second place just one win away. There's a big difference between improbable and impossible, and that difference has led us to the Dallas Cowboys being favorites to win the NFC East and being number two in the NFC at the end of the regular season. The only hurdle now is a trip to face the lowly Washington Commanders in a game the Cowboys must now use to achieve their goals and build confidence in the postseason. The Philadelphia Eagles' shocking loss to the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday made it easier for Dallas to regain control of its own destiny. Playing at home, Philly squandered a 21-6 halftime lead and lost control of the division. Now all the Cowboys need to do is beat Washington this Sunday and that will make the Eagles-Giants game moot. Beating the 4-12 Commanders, regardless of venue, is hardly an accomplishment in 2023. Washington's four wins have all come against teams at .500 or below, Arizona, Atlanta, Denver, and New England. But the Cowboys have proven the frightening potential of minimizing their competitors, and we all know how things can get especially tricky on the road and in a rivalry game. And you know that this Commanders team, with coaches and players fighting to keep their jobs in the face of a new ownership regime, will give maximum effort in front of the home crowd to try to spoil the Cowboys' fun. Fortunately, there's plenty at stake for Dallas to look beyond Washington for the postseason. Although the Eagles losing to the Giants seems more possible now than ever, both games will start late next Sunday afternoon. The Cowboys won't have the luxury of knowing they've clinched the division and need to play the Commanders like everything is on the line. Even if the NFC East was a done deal, Dallas would still need a 12th win to secure second place in the NFC playoffs. Their head-to-head -head win over Detroit last week gives them the tiebreaker. That would entitle them to home games until the second round, and maybe even the NFC Championship game if the 49ers somehow get upset beforehand. For a team with Dallas Jekyll and Hyde personality in home and away games, securing the comfort of AT&T Stadium for the playoffs is essential. Even if that means veterans and experienced players don't get extra rest before the tournament, reducing traveling during the postseason will mitigate that. And now that playing at home means something to the Cowboys, it's an advantage they must fight hard to maintain. Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any Dallas Cowboys news. Thanks!